we and we have give them no scriptures before the study nor send them we into them i mean that's the translation we send nor send them we we into them what is that i mean i always i say like okay my english is funny like nor sent we into them like let me change the translator i, I feel like i'm in a moment i know what is that man this is this is too much shish kebab well And we had not given them scriptures which they could study, nor we send them before you between two bracket O Muhammad SW. The short wave Muhammad, you know, Muhammad is short wave. Do we have any Muhammad? After I finish my you know my broadcast, the Muslim they will post in the chat, I will challenge you face to face. Okay, well, wait until face to face happen. For now, we have a lot of Muslims who are going to leave Islam after they see the stupidity. It's a clear contradiction. Any Muhammadan? The purpose behind saying that Muhammad is from Ishmael is to give Muhammad a legitimate lineage line from Abraham so people will accept him more and when the Christians and I say the Christian I mean everybody you know because some naive dummy people you know they say those are Christian those are Christian those are Christian obviously you are the last one to be Christian too Christian is whoever believe in Jesus to be his Savior his Lord to be in the to believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit So when a Christian priest from any of those churches, major churches, they say that the Arab from Ishmael is showing us his ignorance, his stupidity, and that he is a copy-paste. He's a potato. He don't want to learn. He don't want to search. Secondly, how in the world you come to a conclusion when there's no book ever written saying to us that Ishmael have this son and 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 then we arrive to Muhammad even Muslim didn't have such a book they start writing those things later after Muhammad Muhammad became a person of interest after not before there's no such a book so how Muslim they can go back in history to Ishmael when they don't have any book about Ishmael never have one My Skype is open until now there's no Muhammad. Now what happened? Was it a shot in the head? What happened to the brave Abdul? Who can answer? Huh? What happened? Uh, this is... Uh, And, but this is from yesterday. Oh, this is even from Friday. I'm trying to find a Muslim. I didn't find anyone. Anyone? Nobody? All right. Well, until Muslims wake up and give us a call, we continue then. So, as you see, the Quran is so clear. And whatever now the Muslim, they will start saying, no, no, no. He is talking about the people of Mecca. Abdul, yes, people of Mecca. Don't you say, isn't it the Quran saying that Muhammad, Abraham and Ishmael, they came to the people of Mecca? They are the one actually, according to you, I mean, they rebuilt the Kaaba, the, 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 
Mecca was there, but some Muslims they say there was no Mecca really. Uh, but, but okay, if there is no Mecca, that's mean the statement in the Quran about rising the foundation of the house is wrong. Because you don't rise something does not exist. There is a foundation, the Kaaba was collapsed. And we have tons of stories in your book saying that it was built by the angels and then Adam, he did Hajj 40 times and we can show the reference. And not only that, it's speaking about that the black stone was embedded there and it was where the Arab put, the Arab women specifically, who want to have a children's but they cannot have a children's, they go when they have their period because obviously they are not getting, you know, the opportunity to get, to have a child because this is why, this is a sign of not, having a child or be able to have one you still have in your period coming so when they have their period they go and they touch their private part they walk around the Kaaba totally naked totally naked because the black stone was the fertilizing stone the vagina If we ask the Muslims, okay, what was the religion around this Kaaba? If this Kaaba built by Abraham, how this Kaaba became a place of sex? How this Kaaba became a place where women, they want to have babies, they go, they touch the black stone, and after that, they do boom, boom. Read with me carefully, and this is in Al Bukhari and etc. It doesn't matter, like all oh, this is Sahih. They will say to you, anything is embarrassing, they will say to you, it is the if. The if supposed to mean weak. The fact, even the weak hadith is accepted. And the fact is that Islam is weak because the second you try to hide behind that, if they meant to say this is fabricated, that's mean how we can even trust you to tell us about your religion if your books is full of fabrications. And as long it is fabrication and it's in your book, that's mean you accept it. And as long as you accept it, that's mean you are a fool. Because you just said it's a fabrication. <laughs> but this is not in that category at all. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, which is the most, this is the second book after the Quran. And the funny thing is that Islam is a religion did not establish by the Arab. If you go like, when a guy, he called me a few days ago, he says, do you know the Arabic grammar? Yeah, the one who made the Arabic grammar is not even an Arab. I mean, what the Arab did in this, in this earth? Even their language is not fixed by them, it's fixed by a Persian person. And they say that the Persian are their enemy. And this one is a Persian too. And Sahih Muslim is a Persian too. I mean, everybody is a Persian. Where is the Arab? The Arab were busy cooking goats, riding their neighbors. So, read carefully with me what the, what the, what the Muslims they say. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, the people used to perform tawaf in the Kaaba naked except the homes. And the homes were Quraysh and they were their offspring and the homes used to give clothes to the men who would perform the tawaf wearing them. Simply what they do, the same as they do now. The Muslim, they wear the clothes of the homes. They wear a, a sheet. They are naked. They are wearing nothing underneath. But this is something they used to do, but what they used to do too, they are totally naked. And they go around the Kaaba. Okay, question to the Muslims. You are saying this is the pre-Islamic ignorance, but how come Muhammad, he did not forbid it all those years, he never spoke against it. Have you ever heard of a stupid book more than this? This book, he speak about not to eat pork. 
Not to eat what? Pork. Okay, no problem. But how come this God, he did not make a verse about people going naked around the Kaaba? Huh? Which one is more important? Eating pork or people going naked around the house of Allah? Why Allah he ignore it? Not a single verse in the Quran speaking against people going naked around the Kaaba. Totally naked. Which I'm sure there's many they would like to join the club. Any Muslim can tell us? Was it accepted to by Muhammad? Obviously it was, because Muhammad never spoke against it. If I'm wrong, show me. Show me, show me, because the second you show me, you will be embarrassed. There's a story, if you read my book, Six and Allah, you will find in the story there that Muhammad, he saw a woman, she is totally naked, going around the Kaaba. And he wanted to sleep with her. He don't want any men to have her. And supposedly after that, it wasn't allowed to go naked around the Kaaba. The woman she was going around the Kaaba singing a song, saying, All my, I don't want to say the word, I mean, whatever I'm showing you, they'll make it simple, like her breast, her private part, her vagina, whatever we saw exposed is not available. This is the song, which means men don't, don't come and jump. Muhammad was in the Kaaba watching those women going naked around the Kaaba, and Muhammad did not scream, Shame on you! He did not. He was watching, enjoying it. When the Jews, they were selling and buying, not in the temple, not even in the yard of the temple. The temple have like many yards. In outside the yard, in the front of the temple, Jesus, he got so upset and he flipped the table on them. And he said to them, you made the house of my father a bazaar, a market. Muhammad, he see women going around the Kaaba naked. He had no problem. The problem for him, to eat pork. And by the way, eating pork is lawful in Islam. In the same verse it says, if you are hungry, you can eat it. Which is very weird. I mean, so all this, all of this drama to say to us. Am I heard? Hello? No, no, nobody, nobody can do hacking. Uh, it's uh, most likely it is my security softwares. I have, I have a lot of uh, very tough security. So mostly my security blocked my connection. Am I heard now? All right, that's good. I'm not going to apologize for this. You like it, like it. You don't like it, leave. <laughs> I'm sorry for losing connection. It's not my fault. I cannot be sorry for it. Anyway, so do we have any Mohammedan? What is the Mohammedan? You know, I quit Skype so to make my speed better maybe, but I don't think it's a speed issue. I think it's my security software is is blocking my connection. This is usually does not happen, but eh, you know things happen sometimes. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? So as you see, all lead us to one thing. As long even the study book of Muhammad, saying it clearly that before Muhammad, nobody came to Mecca. That will make a total contradiction of chapter 2, verse 127. That Abraham and Ishmael did that. And not only that, actually, if you read the verses after it, you will see that 
according to the Quran, there was a nation. And the nation is spoke to by Abraham. Read carefully. And remember, remember, you know, it's funny, funny when uh, uh, when the Muslim, they make translation says, and remember, where is the word remember in the verse? Because, uh, you see, when the Muslim, they add those words, obviously the Quran is not enough to make any sense. So we have to put tons of brackets Because the one who made the Quran is so good in Arabic to the point he cannot make a little sentence clear. Imagine you have a sign for a building and the sign says, uh, go to uh, T. T is a symbol of kitchen. Like what the heck, How, why don't put K? And you put like a bracket next to it, T mean kitchen. And then you say, and then sit on D. D means chair between two brackets. Like, why are you doing what, what is that? So go to go to T, sit in D, drink from Phi, and eat from Y. And then, in order to understand what this Abdul talking about, we have to put we have to insert tons of brackets to make it acceptable. or to make it a little bit make sense. Be nice, Javad. Do we have any Mohammedan? Does it say that Abraham was there, and then the verse after it says, Allah, he says, our Abraham, he says, our Lord, make us Muslims, not submissive. This is a false translation. Muslims mean surrendering or surrender, not submissive. This is a lie. And even there's very well-known Christian who speak about Islam, still they say the same stupid thing. They say to you, Islam means submission. It doesn't matter how much, any time you try to correct them, they go live and they say, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Islam means uh, to uh, submit. Islam means to surrender, and we prove it to you many times. So we surrender into you, and of our spring, nation to be Muslims. So there's a nation, they have offspring, and he was warning them, and he built the Kaaba to worship. So the Kaaba, according to the Quran, was in a place of worship since the time of Abraham. And the one who raised it again is Abraham. And Ishmael was with him. And then Abraham, after he finished, he asked Allah to make all those who are around this Kaaba Muslims. Okay. But that means there is people there. And as long as the Muslim, they say that Ishmael was a prophet. Well, it doesn't make sense that Ishmael was prophesying to himself. You can't be a prophet if there's a group of people who are teaching them. But if you are talking to yourself, that's very silly. And then here it says, Our Lord sent them, sent among them a messenger of their own. <laughs> Look at this disaster. Anybody notice the stupidity here? I want to see in the chat who is the one discovered the stupidity in this verse. Anyone notice the stupidity in this verse? Who, who will notice with me? Let us see. This is the cow chapter, verse number 129. Who noticed with me something extremely stupid here? By the way, I exit Skype because nobody's Muslims are not calling anyway. And as long as my connection is not good today, so better have less connection. Who noticed the, the, the stupidity here with me? Anyone notice?
What Jesus to the Arab? What does that mean? Hold on, my friend. What? Go, what where are people going? Hold on. I said to you, use your brain. Don't use your finger. Listen. They are asking Allah to send one to them from them. Read carefully. You see the translation here is between two between two bracket, which is not in the Quran. When you see it between two brackets, it's, me, it's not in the Quran. Abraham, he said, our Lord sent among them a messenger. So who are you? <laughs> when I say send, send among them, that means them they all exist. And I am the one who's asking for it, so I'm exist too. And I am a prophet supposedly, and now I'm asking Allah to send among them one from them. That's mean Abraham and Ishmael, they are not from them. That's mean Muhammad is not from Ishmael. Is Ishmael one of them? Hey Muslims, is Ishmael is, an, is the father of the Arab? Is he one of them or not? See the stupidity? Do we have any Abdul? Who is talking supposedly Abraham? Abraham is talking. Supposedly Abraham is talking. All right. But you see here the stupidity here. It says, Our Lord, make us Muslims into you, and our spring nation Muslim into you. And show us. Uh, I mean, this translation is very funny. I mean, is it the translation? What is this word here? This reminds me of a Pakistani boy. He go to YouTube. He make a video five every five, every five word in English. He make like two words in Arabic. So because he want to show them that I speak Arabic, you know, like manas brother and sister. Maadri mean I don't know. And then the scorpion will hit you. You remember? But don't play that video because now the, the the pagan the pagan people in Europe and America they are practicing Halloween. The stupid pagan, many of them they claim to be Christians. If we change the translation, let us see another idiot, Yusuf Ali. Our Lord, our Lord make us Muslim Boeing. Like this guy, he add the word Boeing. Boeing? Where is the word Boeing coming from? Maybe he want to say Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. I mean, we just changed the translation. There was no Boeing in the other one. Here there's Boeing. Okay, we will go with the Boeing 777, Boeing. Our Lord make us Muslims. Okay, to the, to the will, between two brackets. Okay, okay. Here we go, bracket again. And our Brogni, a people Muslim, again Boeing. What is the word Boeing? And then he continued, Our Lord, send among them a messenger of their own. Any Muhammadan want to explain such a stupidity? So Abraham was asking 
Allah to send the messenger to them from them that's mean neither Ishmael neither Muhammad is from them anyone But if you go down a little bit, just to show you how silly this Quran is. And this was the legacy that Abraham left his sons, and so did Jacob. Oh my son, Allah has chosen the faith for you. And then die, no expect in the faith of Islam. Like, hold on. So this is always not even about Ishmael. So the prayer here, Allah was asking, sorry, Abraham is asking Allah to send a messenger between them, Jacob and Isaac, to be a prophet for them. But I thought Jacob and Isaac both are prophets. Abdul is trying to call me. Well, I'm afraid if I go back online, I mean, uh, with Skype, I will lose connection. As you see, the connection is not good today. What a stupid religion. And then here we go. We were, you, were ye witness when the death appeared before Jacob. Behold, he said to his sons, what will you worship after me? They said, we shall worship the God and the God of our fathers, of Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac. So where do those things happen? Let us go back, just to connect the dots together. Muslims, when Ibrahim, he come, to Mecca. Did he come with Jacob and Isaac? The Muslim, they will say no. Okay. But after Ibrahim, he built the Kaaba, right away he is speaking not to Ishmael, he is speaking to Jacob. How would that happen? Where is Ishmael? Is it hard to understand? Listen carefully. Abraham, he said to Allah, send among them messenger. Now we will put here a mark under them. Them. Right away you will think, okay, them is those who live in Mecca because now he just spoke about building the Kaaba. Correct? Read carefully. Verse number 127 says, And when uh, 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 the other Ibrahim, and Abraham, he raised, and Ishmael, they raised the foundation. Where is Jacob? There's no Jacob. Where's Isaac? There's no Isaac. Okay, so this is only Abraham and, and, and Ishmael. Raise the foundation of the house, which means the Kaaba. According to Muslim, this is the Kaaba. But by the way, even until now, there's no proof that this is the Kaaba. Because the word bait, bait, is not even an Arabic word. This is an Aramaic word. This is why you go, you see in, in all over in, in Israel, like Beit Lahem, Beit Lahem, the house of bread. Beit, 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 beit. There's tons of cities called and towns called beit, 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 beit. Why? Because they built the house of worship. So how do we know this is was where? It doesn't say anywhere. This is the Kaaba. Do you know? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nowhere it says that this is even happening in Arabia.
the desert mean? No, it says even where. I mean, which 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 location? It says that he raised a house. It doesn't say. I mean, Muhammadan have anything to say? Where was the where was the house which Abraham he built? Any Muslim can help us. All those verses it says bait. Bait. In verse number 596, it says the following Allah, He made the Kaaba the house of asylum. But is that the same one Abraham He built? Any Muslim? No answer. If you go a little bit and do a little more study, you will find something very important. Chapter 3, verse number 96, it says that the first house of worship was built in Bakka. Do you see the word Bakka? Not Mecca. Is my connection coming fine? Because YouTube is giving me a message saying not receiving enough video maintain smooth streaming. Bakka. What happened to Mecca? The most time they put for you between two bracket Mecca, but Mecca is not Bakka. And the word is very different. So where the first house was built ever? Is the house which built by Abraham, if you read the verse before it, and where it was built? In Bakka. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? Yeah, guys, I'm not going to open Skype. I can show you even the message here. It says, Error YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain whatever. So obviously my connection is not good. You know, I don't want to open more applications which will make my connection bad. So the first house, okay, hold on. That's mean there's other houses. <laughs> Correct? As long as this is the first house, is the one who built by Abraham. But this is a verse was given to Muhammad, not in the time of Abraham. This is to tell about all the news that the first house was built in Bakka, is built by Abraham. Why Allah saying the word Bakka, not Mecca? Any Muhammadan? If we go and do little search, give me a second. We go to Prophet Google, peace upon him. There is a temple, it's called the Temple of Al-Makkah. 
You see here they're using they're using letter Q, but it's the same as is Mecca, the same. Just to make the pronunciation. The temple of what? Al Mecca. What Al mean? Al have either one one of two meaning, either the or God. The God of Mecca. Where is that located? You believe it or not? This is the moon god temple in Yemen. Are we going somewhere? Do you see how similar the name? It's the same name. Makkah, Makkah. Mecca, Mecca. If we go and let me go back to Google again. Hold on, give me a second. I'll try to search for you in English so you can understand. You can search right now in Google using English, not necessarily Arabic. Yemeni corner in the Kaaba. Yemeni what? Yemeni corner. Okay, what is this Yemeni corner? Those are stones taken from the temple of Al Makkah, from the Munga temple. And this is why you will see that those stones. They are different from the rest of the stones in the wall of the Kaaba. Let us go to the pictures. Give me a second. And look, they have a police to guard them, man. Do you see how those stones look different? Did you see it? You can tell like the color is different, right? They don't match the rest of the wall. Those are stones brought from the temple of Al-Makkah, which is the temple of the moon god to create a replica, uh, uh, replica. I'm not saying, I'm sure I'm saying the word correct, replica, like you know, when you make a fake something fake, you know, counterfeit, to make something similar to the temple which people they used to go and do Hajj in Yemen, which is the moon god temple. So instead of going all the way to kiss the stones, we bring the stones for you and we build the Kaaba. And this is where the Mecca obviously is coming from. The first one was built is the one in Bakka. The second one is built where? In Mecca? And here you notice that the Muslim they make the Kaaba wear a skirt. And again, they have an opening for the skirt so people they can insert their hands and touch the legs of Allah or the legs of the Kaaba. Do you see it? I'm trying to find a more clear picture. Oh, look at this one. This one, maybe more clear. You can tell that this corner is not is not from there. I mean, somebody somebody inserted those things there. Do you agree? You can tell easy, right? They don't even match. Do you see it? Look at this picture, or this one. Do you see it? This is the Kaaba without the, the, the burqa.
So they went to the Mecca, Al Makkah temple in Yemen, in order to build a Kaaba, which will bring more customers to their town. So those who worship the moon god will go there. Very simple. Let us see if we can find um, some pictures. Uh, this is a book. We don't want a book. All right, we found some pictures here. This is the old temple of Al Makkah, which is made simply to worship the moon god. And you will notice that the language there is not Arabic and have nothing to do with the Arab. What the Muslim they will say to you that the people of Yemen are Arab, right? Well, if the people of Yemen is Arab, and Ishmael he spoke Arabic, as they claim, then they should have the language of the Arab exist at that time, but it's not. As you see, this is have nothing to do with the Arabic language, not even close. So simply, Muhammad, who is a person he associated with the Jews, he hijacked some names in order to use those names as a ticket to enter into the society of the Christians and the Jews. It's like somebody want to create a fraud between the Buddhist. So he cannot deny Buddha. They will say, Buddha sent me, because this is what the people will follow. So he will use Buddha to make him a legitimate person. But obviously he's a fraud. This is why you see Muhammad, he makes things up. In one hand, he says that he is following the God of Abraham. In the other hand, he says that Allah said that he have no religion. There's a video of Zach and Naik. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Time to laugh. The below question was asked by a Christian on Facebook. Facebook. What was the religion of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu before he was appointed as a prophet? Okay, what was his religion? Yeah, hold your nose. Before I reply to this question, mm. I would like to remind okay. that most of the non-Muslims and even some of the Muslims have a misconception that Islam is a new religion that came into existence after Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and they believe that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the founder of the religion of Islam. Let me tell you, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the founder of the religion of Islam, but he's the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our first prophet is Adam, peace be upon him, and then there are 25 messengers mentioned by name in the glorious Quran, and our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent 124,000 messengers on the face of the earth. 124,000 messengers. And by the way, those 124,000 messengers, they are created from the sweat of a Prophet Muhammad. When Allah, he created the world, he sent Muhammad, 
in a journey, in a boat. And during this journey, Muhammad, he sweat and he dropped 124,000 drop of his sweat. From every sweat, Allah created the Prophet. I mean, you can tell the story is true story. I mean, I sweat always too, you know. But I don't know what God is creating out of my sweat. I'm not, I'm not sure. I hope he want to create prophets. So, Abraham himself is created from the sweat of Muhammad. Moses is created from the sweat of Muhammad. Even Isa. Jacob, Isaac. Everybody. But what makes it more hilarious that 124,000 messengers, Muslim cannot tell us anything about them. If you go to the city Quran, you will find the following. That Allah, he never sent the messenger to any nation unless they are from the nation and they speak the tongue of the nation. Okay, 124,000 messenger. Where Muhammad, he got the number and which languages they were speaking. If you go and study what Muhammad he says and his religion, you will see that all those prophets, they focus in Hebrew, Aramaic, like Abraham, and Arabic. So 124,000 messenger for only three, three languages? Where are they? Who are they? How we can take what Muhammad is saying to be true? And why Allah did not say in the Quran, I send 124,000 messenger? And here you need to remember, as long as Allah, he never sent a messenger to people unless he speak for their tongue, and he have to be one of them. So how Allah, he sent Ishmael to the Arab? How Allah he sent Abraham to the Arab? Neither Abraham, neither Ishmael speak Arabic. Even in Islamic books they say that Ishmael he learned Arabic at the age of 14. So he is not from them and this is not his tongue. Did Abraham he spoke Aramaic? For sure he spoke Aramaic. What language he was speaking? Persian? He's Aramaic, what you will speak? I mean, uh, uh, those questions is kind of weird. I mean, a, a guy is a German, what he speak? German. A guy is Japanese, he speak what? I mean, there's some exception, like, you know, my mom told me that when I was born, I was speaking uh, Russian. You know? Yeah. And I can prove it, by the way. Like I can say to you, like uh, "spasiva." This I remember from my childhood, like when I was born. Like I was like "spasiva, spasiva," you know, you know, like okay, because you know the uh, the lady who she gave birth to, to, you know, like she helped the mom to give birth to me. I took her finger, uh, uh, I mean the ring from her finger, and I told her like uh, like I grabbed it right away. Like you know, I wanna you know, that's it. I said, okay, "spasiva, spasiva." She didn't know what happened really. She went home. She could not find the ring. And then she, you know, she said to my mom, did you find my ring? You know, true story, by the way, this is a Bukhari story. Yeah. So.